Imagine a celestial object the size of three football fields hurtling towards Earth at 25,000 miles per hour, an unseen threat lurking in the vastness of our solar system, silently plotting its course. This is the reality of the Apophis asteroid, a potential harbinger of destruction discovered in 2004. When astronomers first laid eyes on this formidable space rock, they could hardly believe what their instruments were telling them. This wasn't just another asteroid, this was a monster, over 1,000 feet in diameter, with a trajectory that suggested a disturbing possibility. In the early days following its discovery, Apophis was thought to have a 2.7% chance of colliding with our planet in 2029. To put that into perspective, you are more likely to be struck by Apophis than win the lottery. The news sent a ripple of panic through the global scientific community, and for good reason. An impact of this magnitude could have catastrophic consequences, the likes of which our species has not seen since the extinction of the dinosaurs. While the odds may seem small, in the grand cosmic lottery, 2.7% is a gamble few were willing to take lightly. Astronomers worldwide turned their gaze towards this intruder, hoping to glean more information to assess the true nature of the threat. Teams of scientists worked around the clock, crunching numbers, refining calculations. The world watched on. A collective breath held in anticipation. Would it be a close shave? A cosmic bullet dodged? Or were we staring down the barrel of a gun? The countdown already begun to our own extinction. As the calculations became more refined, the initial panic began to subside. But the threat of Apophis served as a stark reminder of our place in the universe, of the dangers that lurk in the darkness of space. The world held its breath as scientists raced to assess the real threat. As the world watched with bated breath, astronomers dove deeper into the mystery of Apophis. In the pursuit of knowledge, scientists turned their telescopes to the heavens, seeking to understand this cosmic interloper. Apophis was no ordinary asteroid, its size and trajectory made it a potential threat to Earth. The enigma of Apophis had to be unraveled, and astronomers were up to the task. Their mission was to track and study the asteroid, a task that required an amalgamation of science, technology and a dash of audacity. Night after night, they monitored Apophis, charting its course across the celestial sphere. They gathered data, analyzed it, and then scrutinized it once more. It was a Herculean task, one that demanded precision, patience, and a profound understanding of the cosmos. In the process, they discovered that Apophis was a complex body, with a composition and structure that was as intriguing as its orbit. They found that it was not just a lifeless rock hurtling through space, but a reminder of the universe's dynamism and unpredictability. As the data poured in, the calculations were revised. The likelihood of an impact in 2029 was reduced. The numbers were crunched, the models tweaked, and the predictions updated. It seemed Earth was safe, at least for the time being. It was a moment of collective relief. The world exhaled, the tension dissipated. The threat of Apophis, it seemed, had been averted. The astronomers' tireless efforts had paid off. Humanity had been granted a reprieve. But the story of Apophis was far from over. The asteroid continued its cosmic journey, indifferent to the stir it had caused on our blue planet. And while the immediate threat had been mitigated, the asteroid's future rendezvous with Earth remained uncertain. We had dodged a bullet, or so we thought. Yet the tale of Apophis was far from over. As we breathed a collective sigh of relief when the threat of a 2029 collision was ruled out, our sights were already set on the future. The year 2036 loomed ahead, a new date etched into the cosmos, another rendezvous with the celestial serpent Apophis. The asteroid, named after the ancient Egyptian deity of Chaos, was living up to its moniker, keeping us on our toes and reminding us of our place in the universe. The scientific community, never one to rest on its laurels, threw itself into continuing studies and preparations for this future encounter. The 2029 pass-by was set to be a dress rehearsal of sorts, a chance to study Apophis up close and personal, gather invaluable data, and test our preparedness for any future asteroid threats. As we turned the page on this chapter, we found ourselves in a unique position. We were not merely passive observers of the universe anymore, we were active participants. We had the technology, the knowledge, and the will to safeguard our planet. Observatories around the world kept a vigilant watch on Apophis, 
tracking its trajectory, studying its composition and mapping its surface. Scientists and engineers work tirelessly, designing innovative solutions and strategies to deflect or break up any incoming asteroid. From kinetic impactors to gravity tractors, from nuclear explosives to solar sails, no idea was too far-fetched or too ambitious. We were not just preparing for Apophis, we were preparing for any space rock that dared to threaten our home, yet in the grand scheme of things we were but a speck in the cosmos, at the mercy of forces far beyond our control. The future beckoned, full of promise and uncertainty. Apophis would return, that much was certain. But would we be ready? Could we turn the tables on the universe and avert a potential catastrophe? Was this a reprieve or merely a postponement of our date with destiny? As humanity grapples with the reality of Apophis, we are forced to confront our own vulnerability. It's a stark reminder of our place in the cosmos, a sobering perspective that prompts us to ask how do we prepare for the worst? In this quest for survival, the strategies we explore are as diverse as they are innovative. One such strategy is the concept of asteroid deflection, a feat of cosmic billiards, if you will. Imagine nudging an asteroid off its trajectory just enough to make it miss Earth. This could be achieved through a variety of methods, from the brute force of a kinetic impactor to the subtle influence of a gravity tractor. Another approach is to mitigate the impact. This could involve breaking up the asteroid into smaller pieces or changing its composition to lessen the damage it could cause. It's a bit like preparing for a storm by boarding up the windows, except the storm is a giant space rock hurtling towards us at incredible speed. Yet while these strategies may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, they are grounded in real science and technology. Research is ongoing, with institutions across the globe investing time and resources into understanding these celestial threats better. Importantly, these strategies hinge on one crucial factor, early detection. We must spot these potentially hazardous asteroids well in advance in order to have a fighting chance. It's a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek on a cosmic scale, and the stakes couldn't be higher. This brings us to the role of ongoing research, which is absolutely pivotal. The more we learn about asteroids like Apophis, the better equipped we are to deal with them. It's a race against time, with humanity's survival on the line. In the face of the unknown, humanity's greatest weapon is knowledge. We may not know when or where the next threat will come, but armed with the right information, we can prepare, adapt and hopefully overcome. As Apophis continues its cosmic journey, one question lingers in the minds of many. The Apophis asteroid threat has not just been a looming spectre of potential danger, it has also been a profound catalyst, triggering a seismic shift in our understanding of space and our very place within it. This celestial body, named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos, has served as a stark reminder of our vulnerability in the vast expanse of the cosmos. But more importantly, it has awakened an insatiable curiosity, a thirst for knowledge and a renewed passion for space exploration. The imminent arrival of Apophis has sparked an unprecedented surge in asteroid research. Scientists across the globe have rallied together, pooling their expertise to learn more about these celestial wanderers. They're untangling the mysteries of their composition, trajectory and impact potential. The fruits of their labor have been bountiful, revolutionizing our understanding of asteroids and their role in the cosmic ecosystem. This newfound knowledge has invigorated our drive to venture further into the stars. We've seen a surge in space missions, both manned and unmanned, with a key focus on asteroids. We're not just looking to protect our blue planet, but also to explore these rocky remnants of our solar system's formation. They hold the keys to untold secrets about our past and could potentially unlock the door to our future. The Apophis threat has also spurred on technological advancements. New methods and tools have been developed to detect, track and potentially deflect asteroids. The thought of a celestial body on a collision course with Earth has spurred innovation at a pace we haven't seen since the space race of the mid-20th century. So, while Apophis continues its journey through the cosmos, it leaves in its wake a world more curious, more knowledgeable and more prepared than ever before. But as we harness the lessons of this impending celestial encounter, we are left with an uneasy question. As we gaze up at the stars, we are left to wonder, is Earth truly safe from the threat of Apophis?